Zach Thomas, Sean McKinney, and Jordan Probst here today. Good. We are one man short of four point play, so we are three point play. Just which makes is, it better. It does. It kind of it, it brings it a little closer. It's yeah. a little bit more personal today. We have a lot of topics to cover. Oh my goodness, there's been <laughs> so much happening in sports this past week, and Absolutely. wow, how we are we are so excited. Sean, unfortunately. He's feeling a little bit more depressed than the rest of us. Sean, why don't you go ahead and tell the listeners why? Oh, my goodness. And the, the, on the night that it was supposed to all be all about Pacquiao and Mayweather, the Spurs and Clippers played a Game 7, which more so lived up to a heavyweight Ooh. fight than Man- Pacquiao and uh, Mayweather did. Yeah, Spurs looked to be in control of it. They were up by five, and then there were three points where I feel like the game really turned. But there was, you know, there's always that one huge one. And it was when the Spurs were up 97-92, to and they did the hack of Jordan. Jordan missed both free throws. Tony Parker gets the rebound, but then he doesn't turn around. And then Chris Paul comes up from behind him and gets the steal. And then Clippers make two free throws, and it's 97-94. So that's the first one. That was the big one. And then they had a chance to get it back. Kawhi Leonard missed a layup that it was in. And then it's like it just magnet just pulled it right back out. That would have made 99-94. to then the last one, Spurs leading 105-102. Mm. Big block by Danny Green on Chris Paul. And Tony Parker versus, I forget, I think it was Blake Griffin. Oh. Just those two. And he goes up for a floater, which he usually makes, but it rolls in and rolls out. That would have put us up 107-102. That might have been a game clincher. Like, if you think about it, that yeah. really could have done, done that team in. Yeah, you know. So it's like all those swings because the Leonard layup that missed – Led to a J.J. Redick three-pointer that tied the game up. And, and then, then the rest was really history. And, and then the Parker layup also. And then Matt Barnes hits the game-tying three-pointer again. And then Chris Paul. And then eventually Chris Paul. <laughs> and then eventually Chris Paul.